Do you lack hope and patience? But did you know there are two essential virtues that we must all possess in our lives? Because without hope, we become despondent and lose the way to carry on. And without patience, we become easily frustrated and give up at the slightest difficulty. But how then can we invite hope and patience in our lives? I think by learning the virtue and the importance of patience and hope. And we can do that through the story of Ayub alayhi salatu was salam. أصوات الإسلام الله رب العالمين ثم الصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين We always start by praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after which we send salutation upon Nabi Kareem Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah bless him, his household, his companions, and may Allah bless every single one of us. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Islam, in this video we will talk about the benefits and the importance of patience and hope in Allah. And we will do so through the story of Ayyub alayhi salatu wa sallam. Because if you look in the Quran, the story of Ayyub is a testimony to the importance of patience and hope in Allah. As a prophet, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had brought in his direction, test, hardship upon hardship, difficulties upon difficulties, and yet still he remained steadfast in the worship of Allah, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So because of that, it is important that we look into his life and know what happened to him and how he was hopeful in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ayub, as a prophet from the start, Allah had blessed him so much and given him wealth, property, and a loving family. But in order to test him, because if Allah loves a slave, Allah will bring test in your direction in order to know whether you are truthful in your declaration of faith. Allah tests him by taking away everything from him. Allah will spawn out Allah take, take away his wealth, his wives, his loving family. Above all, Allah took away from him his health. And Ayub alayhi salatu wa sallam remained steadfast. His hope in Allah never diminished a bit. In fact, in the midst of all of the tests, in the midst of the difficulty, he called upon Allah. He was hopeful in the mercy of Allah. So he called upon Allah, and Allah mentioned this in the Quran. And mentioned Ayub when he called upon his Lord, saying, Indeed, adversity had touched me, and you are the most merciful of the merciful. He acknowledged the fact that Allah is merciful, so he presented his problem to Allah so that Allah can solve his problem. He presented his illness to Allah so that Allah can provide cure for him. And Allah said that we, we responded to his call. And we responded to his call, we removed from him what afflicted him of the adversity. And Allah said, We give back to him his family, and then we double it out of our mercy. And we did this so that it can be a reminder to the worship of Allah. So Allah blessed Ayub after his adversity, Allah blessed him with everything he had before, and Allah even doubled it for him. Because he remembered Allah, because he called upon Allah, his hope in Allah remained strong. He never it never diminished a bit. Because of that, Allah will replace everything for him. So this is a reminder for us. Allah mentioned that this is a reminder for the believers, those who worship Allah. When you are worshiping Allah, you should remember that there will be tests on your way. Because Allah Taala said in the Quran that you will not be left to say that you believe without test. Allah says in the Quran, أَحَسِبَ النَّاسُ أَنْ يُتْرَكُوا أَنْ يَقُولُوا آمَنَّا وَهُمْ لَا يُفْتَنُونَ You will not be left alone saying that I believe, I believe Allah must bring test in your direction to know whether you are truthful in your, in your testimony of it, whether you are a false 
you, you are not truthful in, the, in your testimony of faith. So Allah has said this in the Quran. So we should always remain hopeful in the mercy of Allah and we should know that Allah is with those who bear patience. So when you have tests in your direction, you have calamity in your direction, always remember to ask for the help of Allah through being patient and through prayer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِالصَّبَرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ Ask for the assistance of Allah through sabr, through being patient, and through salah. Inna Allah ma'as sabirin. Indeed, Allah is with those who bear patience. May Allah grant us the ability to always have patience in the times of difficulty. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us with this beautiful virtue. Because patience is a virtue. It is only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that can give it to Islam. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give it to us. May Allah make it easy for us. May Allah accept our fasting. May Allah accept our prayers. May Allah accept our du'as. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our efforts in worshipping Him. May Allah accept my efforts in delivering His message. May He accept your efforts in listening to His message. Until we meet again, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.